Hey guys, it's Angela. I'm going to do a video on cloth diapering on the cheap. You can cloth diaper very inexpensively. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do it for around, well, right under $60. Or um, you can even do it for a little bit less if you don't mind using what you have around the house or going to thrift stores. But as far as actually going out and buying at stores or online, this will be, we'll say, under $60. Cloth diapering, first off, can get extremely expensive. Um, I personally, yes, I have bought diapers that have been $50 a piece. But you know what? My favorite cloth diapers are what I'm getting ready to show you. And it's the cheapest option. I'm going to start first with covers. And hopefully I've got you sitting where you can see my favorite covers are the alba baby covers they have um hip snaps so let me see if i have a cover that has where's the black no the black one has it i wonder if you'll be able to see it better on the pink the hip snaps there you go there's the hip snaps and um crossover tabs too crossover tabs are fantastic to have I have a skinny baby so um, if this is your first time ever seeing a diaper if you're completely new to um, cloth diapering these are your uh, your snaps to go around the belly and then these are the snaps the second row is the uh, hip snaps and those are really good to help with um, what you will Get to know is called winged group. If you do not have hip snaps, if you just have the top snap, the, the, the wing will start drooping on your diaper. So hip snaps are great to have. And then you have the rise, the fold down rise. My daughter right now is um, on the second one. So she's on the medium rise. I'll go ahead and snap that. Okay, and these are a cover. They have a waterproof liner that um, you can wipe. It's wipeable, and um, this is more. This is not a diaper that is just one use, and then you have to wash it. You can reuse this multiple times. It has the um, the little flaps that will hold uh, inserts in. It has the one at the belly and one at the back. And the great thing about the Alva also are the double gussets. Those are great at holding in the poop. The um, solid cut color ones will run you about $3.80. And, uh, and their logo has changed. It now has a little uh, cute fox on it. So if you receive it and it's not this logo, don't think that you're not receiving the correct diapers. These I've had for over a year, so. Okay, um, let me look at my notes real quick. Okay, so these are $3.80 a piece. Oh, let me show you some of the other colors. So I have a pink, a red, a green, and a black. They also have a blue and white in the uh, solid colors. So my suggestion with the covers is to buy four covers for $3.80 each. And I think they only charge a penny for shipping. So for $15.21, you would have four covers. And that would be enough to get you through two days so you could wash laundry every other day. And honestly, if you, um, if you really can't afford to buy anything else you can make do with that and t-shirts yes t-shirts if you have like a bunch of um extra t-shirts especially the um men's large may, maybe mediums would work too but typically a, a man's large shirt and you can check out thrift stores and sometimes you can find them for a dollar or less but i'm going to show you how to use um a man's t-shirt that you could fold for an or insert so you can 
cut the shirt if you need to. I mean, if it's not a shirt that you're going to care about reusing again, you can cut it off right here at the arms. But if it's if it's a shirt you really just don't want to cut, or if, if it's all of a sudden you're like, oh man, I need a diaper real quick and you don't have time to cut it, just fold in your um, sleeves and then fold it up like this. And then it's the size that you need it for um, for a flat. And then what you do, I have a girl, so I would put this part at the back for, um, to, to even add more absorption. And then you just tri-fold it. And after you tri-fold it, you take it and you can stick it in your cover. And if it's a boy, you can, if you have a boy, you can put the extra absorbency in the front. And then you just fold this to make it fit. And that would actually add more absorbency in the front too. And there you have it. There's, there is a diaper. And this is how bulky it would be on your baby. But that, that is like on the super, super cheap. That's literally cloth diapering, diapering for under 20 bucks. And you can even use um, dish towels. If you have extra dish towels, if you got them laying around the house, you can also use those. Now I'm going to talk about what you'll hear if you've just um, found that you're pregnant and you're researching cloth diapers and you see people putting up uh, buy FST, you're like, what is FST? That is flour sack towels. And you can get those at Walmart. Let me find my notes. Here we go. You can get a five pack of flour sack towels at Walmart. I think they're $4.88. When I looked them up online just now, they're $4.34. But I'm pretty sure when you go to the actual store, they're $4.88. I've also seen them for around $8 for a 10 pack. So if you find those, grab those. I'm going to show you how to um, pad fold. I like to pad fold instead of, you can origami fold, kite fold. There is all kinds of folds out there, especially for flats. But I'm going to show you how to pad fold because that way you will not need pins or snappy. Okay, so you take it and you lay it out. And they, these are, I think they're 28 inches by 28. Then you fold it in half. Make a rectangle and then fold it in half again and make a square. And then what I like to do is take where the um, the edges are. It's kind of a little, um, the hemmed edge. And I like to fold that in. And then fold it in again. And then there you go. You've got an insert. And then you can take this and put it in your cover. Just like so. And this would be um, very, very thin trim diaper. It's pretty trim. And the, uh, the flower sack towels, they're great for little ones, probably up to about six months. When you get over six months, I would suggest starting to use two flower sack towels because they, as they start wetting more, it'll only last you 30 minutes to an hour, which is fine if, if um, your child has done a bowel movement and you need to change them, but you're getting ready to give them a bath, but you don't want to give them a bath right that second. Put just a flower sack towel on them just so you're not wasting a di any other diapers. So that that's good for that. Um, what I would suggest buying is three packs of five, and that would come to around $14. Okay, the next thing I would suggest buying also is um, receiving blankets. The cheapest way to buy receiving blankets is at thrift stores. I have the cheapest I've bought is a quarter, but usually it's a dollar. Every now and then you'll look up and find 50 cents or a dollar, and sometimes People give you a ton of them when you have your baby shower. But same thing with the um, receiving blanket as the flower sack towel. Just pad fold it. And 
And and like I said, you these are considered you're using these as flats. So look up all kinds of folds for flats. You can make it fun and and do all kinds of creative folds with them. You can technically origami fold and just not snappy. I have done that. Um when when my when my little girl was like 3 or 4 months old, I have origami folded and just put it on her without a snap, a snappy. So there you go. And what you can do for added absorbency is you have both flower sack towels and receiving blankets. You can just put the receiving blanket on top of the flower sack towel. And um, this should last you probably at least three hours, maybe up to four. I think I've went up about four hours. And it's a little bit more bulkier, but my daughter, it doesn't bother her. She's able to crawl around and um, she's starting to walk. Um, she kind of cruises around holding on. It, it doesn't hinder her from doing anything. And then what I would suggest with the flower sack towels is um, trying to buy a minimum of 12 of those. So you would have uh, 15, wait, I'm sorry, receiving blankets. Buy a minimum of 12 receiving blankets. So for your small stash, I would suggest four Alva covers. That's $15.21. Three packs of five flower sack towels. That comes out to around $14 with tax. And then um, I looked, I did look online at Walmart and they had the uh, Parents Choice four pack receiving blankets for $8.44. I'm not sure what that would cost in the store. It might be a little more. But with tax, if you bought, I would buy three packs of those. So you'd have 12. That would be $27. And the total with that comes out to right around $56. But like I said, if you already have receiving blankets, then that will save you the $27. Or if you can find them for a dollar at a thrift store, that will be $12 instead of $27. And that'll get your total down closer to $50. Um, as far as laundry with this uh, stash, you would probably need to wash every other day, which is better than every day. And if you live in a an apartment or or if you just don't have a washer and dryer not a problem that's the great thing about flats they wash very easily by hand washing them and they dry very quickly out outside or even on a um little laundry rack like if you sit it close to where your um heat blows out or your air conditioner blows out but what i what you can do is buy a um a bucket with a lid like Home Depot has got the buckets with a lid and then buy a plunger and what you do is you put a hole in the middle of the top of the lid and then your plunger you drill holes in it and it'll help with the suction and then put you some laundry detergent in there and some water and about about eight probably eight to ten is how many changes your baby will go through with this method and then just wash them and then hang them up to dry and then you'll you'll have a good bit left four or five to get through until those are drying but that's like the bare minimum I would use and then also when your um, baby does start getting to where there are heavy wetter instead of investing all that money in um, fitteds all you really need is one of these little babies it's called hemp babies hemp Hemp is awesome. Don't put it on top. Put it on bottom. Hemp absorbs a lot, but it absorbs slower. I think bamboo um, absorbs faster, but hemp will absorb, to, to me, it absorbs more. So what I have done um, at night is use a receiving blanket and um, hemp, and that will usually get us through nighttime. Now, if your baby is um, a breastfed baby and you're feeding throughout the night, you will probably still need to make to change your diaper, change the baby's diaper throughout the night. It, it probably will not last 10 to 12 hours just because, you know, fluids in, fluids out. Um, oh, Tide, as far as laundry detergent goes, Tide is fabulous. That's what I use. You want the powder, not the liquid. Um, 
and back a few years ago, the big thing with, with laundry detergent is people were telling you to use a little, just use a little. To get it clean, I mean, you're talking about poop and pee here. To get that out, you've got to have some laundry detergent in there. I can show y'all how I um, do my laundry. I do use a washing machine. I don't have a bucket method, but I'm sure if you um, look on YouTube and just type in bucket method for uh, washing diapers, I'm, I'm sure there's lots of videos out there. But I hope this was helpful to um, some people out there. And um, it's cloth diapers would make a great gift too for someone you know who all of a sudden they got pregnant and they're just, you know, finances are struggling. Buy them, buy them four Alva Baby covers and um, a couple packs of flower sack towels and maybe some receiving blankets. Because most people do put $50 into a baby gift. I mean, some people just do 20 but I know a lot do up to 50 But that would be a blessing to, to people who who are just having a hard time right now. And, and there is a lot of us out there. I, we've been there. I hear you. I know where you've been. But um, anyway... I, I hope that this was helpful to you, and um, I'm going to do two other videos. I'm going to do, um, I think, my top 15 favorites for my one-year-old and what's in my diaper bag. So stay tuned for those videos. Again, thanks for watching. Y'all have a blessed evening. Bye!